So how we're going to set our if statements is we're going to give the highest priority to the combine button. So if he's pressing W and right, it's going to have priority over pressing only W or only right. And that's because if we give, for example, W, w priority over pressing W and D, what's going to happen is it's only going to move him forward. So even if you're pressing D, he's not going to move on an angle. Well, he's going to move on an angle because the movement is on the other script, but he's not going to point to an angle. Uh, right? D if you get what I'm saying. Uh, so if you press both buttons, it should have higher higher priority than pressing one button because you're going to be pressing one button anyways while moving. Uh, so you want it to make sure that it points towards the angle when you're pressing both buttons. If we give W the priority over over W and D, then what's going to happen is it's just going to look forward towards W because it has the highest priority. It's not going to look on an angle. It's going to totally forget that we're pressing D because that doesn't matter. So we're going to give the priority to uh, no, I do not. We're going to give the priority to the combine button. So, W, if, if, <laughs> got to remember to put the if statements there, W, key, and of course what it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, if the W key, what's W key, BG, logic, whatever. You should know this if you watched my movement tutorials. So if W key, and, so you can see and is color coded, that means that it's actually usable as a function and D key. So we're going to go and uh, I'm just going to keep this right under it. Cont, you, you want to make sure the, in the indentations are fine. Cont activate and this is to activate uh, to activate an actuator that is connected. The cont here represents the controller. So if we go to our player here you can see that the controller is the Python. So it's saying if those two are pressed controller Python this one here which is running the script so whatever controller is running the script should activate whatever we set it to and of course we're gonna be activating one of these actuators so we're in brackets you have to put the brackets and then you put the name of the variable you set you, uh, you set your actuator to so point forward represents the point forward actuator right here so we're gonna have it activate uh, of course this is moving forward and right so we're gonna want the forward and right actuator which is right here uh, forward right as you can see we want to activate that one no so what we're gonna do since we have these two buttons is we're gonna set it to point forward and right you can just copy and paste and it's probably safer so that you don't have spelling errors control C control V inside the bracket and what this is gonna do when I press W and right it's gonna activate the point forward and right which is gonna make the player point on an angle theoretically. Now that didn't work here so we're gonna go to our console and see what is going on. Toggle system console and I can see there's an error here point back left does not exist. Requested item. Now what item did we request? On line 20 of course. So 20 is over here. Uh, what item did we request? This item. But why didn't it work? Because we set point back left which is spelled correctly the problem is we didn't put the name in correctly. I have point back, right? So we want to get rid of that second O. And now let's test it out. It should point. Still done, still not pointing. So we're going to go and check what is going on. Line 31, global name W key, not defined. And that's because I set this to a capital K when my W key here is a smaller K. So now you can see how... Uh, spelling and you know uppercase and lowercase actually count and now when I run it finally it works okay so we're gonna duplicate this now just to make things simpler and this is gonna be an elif to give it a lesser priority because if we have two ifs what's gonna happen is we're gonna be pressing a certain combination so let's say this is gonna be W key and A key for left if we press W and then D and A at the same time, it's not going to know where to point uh, if, if, they're, if both of them are if statements, if they both have the same priority. So we're just going to make it elif to give it a lesser priority. And now we're going to have this change to point left since A represents the left. And you want to have the bracket there. You don't want it to be missing. And we're going to duplicate this now. Or let's not even duplicate it. Let's stop being so lazy. It's not it's not a bad thing to duplicate, but S 
key. It's just a little too different. So, and uh, this is going to be D key. So for back right, can't activate. And we're going to set it to point back right because that's what we have. Okay, wrong thing to copy. Uh, point back right, just the name. Sort of blanked out there. Okay, so we're going to paste this in here. And now we're going to create one more elif. S key for back. And A key for left. <coughs> just going to copy this. Paste and set this to left. So now you notice when I play it the angled movements are set properly. Now one thing I notice one of them isn't working the W actually it is working. It's just not completely accurate for whatever reason but we're gonna see. Uh, so now what I will do is oh yes of course what's happening is what it's doing now is it's activated those uh, those actuators and they remain active uh, until you deactivate them so what we're gonna have to do here is if this is happening if he's moving towards the top end and D what we want is that one of them only remains active right so what's gonna happen is can't act, uh, deactivate and we're going to have to deactivate everything. Now this is another one of those tedious write it all over again type of things, but whatever. Point forward left. And this is going to be point forward right as what's activated, so this is going to be back. Back underscore left and we're just gonna place this again point back right now we'll also need to to deactivate the point forward left back on their own not the combination ones so deactivate point forward this is gonna be for back for right for left and now we're gonna change them back right and left okay so now we're deactivating everything and we're activating the one that we want to be activated uh, so what we're gonna do where I'm just gonna put a little comment there to signify to basically uh, show that this is the one that's active at the moment and what we could do is since we have them all here we're just gonna copy this paste it in, in in here delete everything and paste it and now we don't want to activate point forward right because this is going forward with the W key and left with the A key so we're gonna set this to D activate we're gonna remove the the comment from here and now we want to activate forward and left so we're just gonna remove the D here the DE and we're gonna put the comment over here this is just so because you know we, we don't want to be rewriting everything so using this system we can tell which one is activated right off the bat everything else is deactivated paste again here this is S and D so I'm gonna remove this of course set this to deactivate again because we're still pasting this over here and now we have back and right so we're gonna look for point back and right right over here this is the one that we want to activate so we're gonna set this to activate removing the DE and over here whoops what the hell did I do okay remove these set it to deactivate and then for back and left this is what we're gonna activate so we want to set it to activate and we're just gonna finish the whole thing uh, every single button and then we'll look at bugs and whatnot alright so